The Scandalous Life of Robert Maxwell, 10 Shocking Facts Robert Maxwell was a British media mogul whose life was filled with intrigue, controversy, and scandal. From his early struggles to the mystery surrounding his death, Maxwell's story reads like a thriller novel, complete with financial schemes, espionage rumors, and family betrayals. As the owner of the Daily Mirror and numerous other publications, Maxwell built an empire that came crashing down after his death in 1991, revealing a web of corruption. This video explores 10 of the most scandalous, shocking, and fascinating facts about his life. Fact number 1. Early Struggles, Escape from Nazis, and Family Life Robert Maxwell was born Jan Ludwig Hock on June 10, 1923, in Slatinsk Duly, Czechoslovakia, a town now within Ukraine. Raised in a Jewish family of 11 children, Maxwell's early years were marked by extreme poverty. Five of his siblings died during childhood due to illness and poor living conditions. When Nazi Germany invaded, tragedy struck, his parents and remaining siblings were deported to Auschwitz, where they perished. However, Maxwell managed to escape and fled to France. His remarkable journey from destitution continued when he joined the British Army and fought in World War II, eventually rising to the rank of captain. In 1945, he married Elizabeth Maynard, a French scholar specializing in Holocaust studies. Their marriage produced nine children, but personal tragedies haunted the family. Their son, Michael, fell into a coma following a car crash and remained unconscious until his death seven years later. In 1961, another daughter, Corrine, succumbed to leukemia at just three years old. Maxwell's relationship with his surviving children was notoriously turbulent. His son Kevin, in particular, bore the brunt of his father's influence, later becoming embroiled in the family's financial downfall. Maxwell's towering personality loomed large over his family life, creating a blend of privilege, pressure, and dysfunction that defined his children's futures. Number 2. A Media Empire Built on Borrowed Money Maxwell's ascent in the publishing industry was nothing short of audacious. His first major success came with the acquisition of Pergamon Press in the 1960s, a scientific publisher specializing in technical journals. Under Maxwell's management, Pergamon flourished, becoming one of the leading academic publishers in Europe. However, Maxwell was not content with moderate success, he craved influence. Over the next few decades, he expanded his empire, purchasing newspapers, including the Daily Mirror in 1984, Britain's largest tabloid at the time. Maxwell famously declared, money is the lifeblood of any business, but his empire was built almost entirely on loans and leveraged assets. By the 1980s, Maxwell's business practices grew more aggressive, borrowing heavily to sustain the growing demands of his media ventures. He diversified into new markets, acquiring publishing houses, printing plants, and newspapers internationally. Yet, these ventures generated insufficient revenue to cover mounting debts, leaving Maxwell dangerously overleveraged. Financial analysts warned that his empire was a house of cards, but Maxwell dismissed concerns with bravado, continuing his borrowing spree until the empire began to crumble under the weight of its obligations. Number 3. The Mirror Pension Scandal That Rocked Britain In 1991, following Maxwell's mysterious death, British authorities uncovered a staggering financial scandal that shocked the nation. Investigators found that Maxwell had illegally siphoned approximately £440 million from the pension funds of the Daily Mirror and its affiliated companies. These pension funds, meant to secure the futures of thousands of employees, were instead used to prop up Maxwell's faltering businesses. For years, he manipulated the pension accounts to mask the true extent of his debt and maintain the illusion of solvency. The fallout was catastrophic. Thousands of retirees lost their life savings, prompting widespread public outrage. Kevin Maxwell, grappling with the scandal, later admitted, it was the worst hell you could imagine. The British press dubbed it one of the greatest acts of theft in corporate history. The Maxwell pension scandal became a symbol of unchecked greed, leading to significant reforms in pension regulations and corporate governance in the United Kingdom. Number 4. Mysterious Connections to Espionage and Intelligence Agencies Throughout his career, Robert Maxwell was dogged by rumors of secret involvement with intelligence agencies. 
Speculation suggested that Maxwell had operated as an asset for multiple intelligence services, including MI6, Mossad, and the Soviet KGB. His close ties to Israel fueled these suspicions, with many believing that he played a role in covert operations on behalf of Mossad. Maxwell reportedly facilitated the sale of military technology to Israel, earning favor among top Israeli officials. John Preston, Maxwell's biographer, remarked, his life was filled with invisible wars, battles fought in the shadows. One of the most persistent rumors involved Maxwell's alleged role in the 1986 capture of Mordecai Vanunu, a whistleblower who exposed Israel's nuclear secrets. While definitive proof of Maxwell's intelligence ties remains elusive, his dealings with various governments and shadowy organizations continue to intrigue researchers and biographers alike. Number 5. Lavish Lifestyle and Lavish Lies Maxwell lived like royalty, projecting the image of a billionaire tycoon while hiding the reality of his mounting debts. His estate included Headington Hill Hall, a grand mansion in Oxford, which he described as a perfect place for a king. He traveled on private jets, threw extravagant parties, and cruised aboard his luxury yacht, the Lady Gislaine, named after his youngest daughter. Maxwell's lifestyle was funded largely through loans, leading a former associate to quip, he always acted like the richest man in the world, but he was the poorest rich man I ever met. Despite the appearance of wealth, Maxwell's empire was built on financial deceit. He juggled accounts, shuffled assets between companies, and borrowed relentlessly to maintain his opulent facade. His financial house of cards eventually collapsed, leaving a trail of unpaid debts and lawsuits that haunted his family long after his death. Number 6. Rivalry with Rupert Murdoch Maxwell viewed Rupert Murdoch, the Australian media mogul, as his chief rival and personal nemesis. The two titans fought for dominance over the British press in the 1980s, engaging in a series of high-profile battles for newspaper circulation. Maxwell's acquisition of the New York Daily News in 1991 was a direct attempt to outmaneuver Murdoch, but it stretched his finances to the breaking point. Murdoch once commented, Maxwell was a man of ambition, but his Achilles heel was greed. This rivalry drove Maxwell to make increasingly reckless decisions, further entangling him in debt. Murdoch's ability to outmaneuver Maxwell at every turn symbolized the harsh reality of their rivalry. Maxwell was ambitious but lacked Murdoch's strategic foresight. Number 7. The Tragic Fall, Death at Sea Under Suspicious Circumstances on November 5, 1991, Maxwell's body was discovered floating in the Atlantic Ocean, near the Canary Islands, after he vanished from his yacht, the Lady Gislaine. The official verdict was accidental drowning, but conspiracy theories abound. Some suggested suicide, believing Maxwell jumped to escape financial ruin, while others suspected assassination. Several theories involve intelligence agencies, hinting that Maxwell had become a liability to Mossad or other entities he allegedly worked with. His biographer speculated, he was too proud to jump, but he made too many enemies to be safe. Maxwell's sudden death remains one of the great unsolved mysteries of modern business. Number 8. The Maxwell Family's Legal and Financial Woes After Maxwell's death, the collapse of his empire left his family to face the fallout. His sons, Kevin and Ian, were charged with fraud and conspiracy, accused of complicity in their father's financial misdeeds. Although they were later acquitted, the scandal destroyed their reputations and left the family mired in legal troubles. Kevin Maxwell declared bankruptcy with debts totaling £406 million, stating, My father's death left us to clean up the impossible mess he made. The Maxwell family spent years entangled in lawsuits, struggling to rebuild their lives and businesses amid the ruins of their father's legacy. Number 9. Ghislaine Maxwell and the Epstein Connection Ghislaine Maxwell, Robert's youngest daughter, later became infamous for her connection to Jeffrey Epstein. Accused of recruiting and grooming underage girls for Epstein's trafficking network, Ghislaine was arrested in 2020. Her trial became one of the most sensational legal cases in recent history, echoing the scandals that had surrounded her father decades earlier. Some observers suggested that Ghislaine inherited her father's talent for manipulation and deceit. A former family associate remarked, Robert Maxwell always played by his own rules, his daughter learned from the best. 
Number 10. Legacy of Fraud and Manipulation. Despite being buried with full honors in Israel, Robert Maxwell's legacy remains one of scandal and betrayal. A former employee summarized his downfall, Maxwell could have been a legend, but in the end, he was just a thief. His life serves as a cautionary tale, illustrating the perils of unchecked ambition, deceit, and financial manipulation. Maxwell's story continues to captivate historians and biographers, offering a glimpse into the complex world of high-stakes business and personal ambition.